tell you, that kiss was pretty great. Well, not all of my impulses are hopeless. Yeah, I'm all for that one. Are you worried? About what? PDA? Public display of affection. <laughs> Dr. Oliver, people will talk. They already do. And given what my image is here, and flirting with you in the corner can only improve on it. <laughs> well, if that's the case, um, how about going out with me and publicly celebrating your future as chief of staff? You're acting like I already got the job. Well, you are well on your way. You were great in that union meeting. And like you say, life is short. So, come on, Reed, what do you say? You have a point. Well, I'll take that as a yes. Let's go. Hey, doctor, can I uh, talk to you? You look terrible. Yeah, well, ask me how I feel. Look, I need your help, all right? As nuts as this sound, you're the one person in this hospital that I can trust. This is a high-potency antibiotic. Makes sense for viral myocarditis, but why come to me? Why can't you order this from the pharmacy yourself? No, I don't want to take that chance. Picking up the phone is a relatively low-risk procedure. No, no, this drug is hardly prescribed, okay? You can bring me a lot of attention if I'm the one who phones it in. It's okay for the staff to wonder why I'm requesting it. You just follow the script. I will pick it up. That is all I'm asking. I'm a neurosurgeon. I'm not a cardiologist. I don't often treat tropical parasites that attack the heart muscle. In fact, let me... Yeah, no, I never... Are you going to do this for me or not? I have a reputation here, too, you know. Yeah, why do you think I'm here? This whole hospital's afraid of you, from the nurse's ace to the pharmacist. No one is going to question a thing you do. Or more to the point, an antibiotic that yeah. I prescribe. Bingo. So please, phone it in, will you? Because I need to start this drug protocol like now. No kidding. Are you going to do this for me, or are you going to make me flat out beg? Tough case? Yeah, with a few surprises thrown in. Are you ready, though? You know, I have to stop at the pharmacy first. Oh, I'll go with you. It might take me a little while. Why don't you go ahead to Metro and get us a table, and uh, I'll meet you there. Okay. I'll see you there. Thank you. Don't thank me. I shouldn't be doing this. Neither should you. Look, I don't have a choice. The hell you don't. Open your mouth and tell the truth. Especially to Katie. You know you screwed up with Katie big time. How do you figure that? Katie thinks you practically hate her. Why would she think I hate her? Maybe because you've been acting like a jerk. I... Now look, I'm going to make it up to her, okay? Yes, and this is how you're going to do it. Hmm. The four of us going out, you, me, Katie, Allison, we'll go to Metro, have a few drinks, get a chance to make peace with Katie. I... You're a genius. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I call her home. Hey, Katie, uh, it's me. Chris, um, look, before you say a word, um, I've done a lot of stupid things, and uh, I act like an idiot tonight, and I just wanted to say that I am sorry. What's going on with you? You know, it, uh, doesn't really even matter, you know, because I took it out on you, um, but, um, do you forgive me? Please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, please. <laughs> of course I do. I think I hear a smile, and that is a good sign. You had me so worried. I know. In fact, you can see for yourself. And uh, Casey suggested the four of us go to Metro. Tonight? Yeah. You up for it? Um, I don't know. Margo just got home from the station. I guess she could watch Jacob. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm great. You don't have to keep asking. But I'll see you at Metro. Katie, thanks. Nice work, doctor. That's it. Let's go. Come on. Um, hey, I'm going to wrap up a couple things here, and I'll, I'll meet you there. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Be safe. <laughs> I got it, all right. Sorry I'm late. When is that supposed to be, a dying crane? I think a spaceship or a lotus. <laughs> well, I guess this is combat work. Whenever I was with Noah, I was the one who was always late. Well, trust me, I'm not cosmic punishment. But I'll tell you this, if you bring up your boyfriend at the start of every day, it's not going to go well. You're kidding. Oh, come on, Reed. You operated on Noah. You knew him. You liked him. Doesn't mean I want to raise a glass to your good old days. I need a beer. Are you sure Chris was okay with this? Katie, you talked to him yourself. Yeah, I know, but I wasn't there in person. Are you sure you didn't pressure him? Okay, I think you need that glass of wine now. Oh, I'm gonna say hi to Reed. I'll meet you guys at the table. Don't tell me you came here to drink all by yourself. That's a bad habit to get into. Look who's talking. You're solo. Oh, I'm not. Technically. Oh, you're here with Luke, so why are you here and he's over there? 
They were talking about you. I just came with um, Casey and Allison, and Chris is meeting us here. Chris? Are you, you sure about that? Yeah. Why, is there any reason I shouldn't be? No, no, no reason at all. Hey, Luke. Hey. If you're here alone, you're welcome to join us. Ah, uh, well, looks can be deceiving. I'm actually here with, uh... Dr. Oliver? Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I could stand on a table and scream, we're dating, but it'll be obvious enough, assuming he ever comes over here and sits with me. Wow, you're dating. So, Dr. Neuro is actually a human being. Yeah. Only when you least expect it. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Luke, this might be bad timing, but I have some news about Noah. Uh... He ended up getting that grant to make a film. He did? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. But he's moving to L.A. When? September. Oh. Well, I already... always knew that it was a possibility, but... Wow, L.A. I know you haven't seen Noah in a while, but... you should stop by and visit, say hi, and... or at least let him know about... Dr. Oliver. Oh, he already knows. He didn't tell you? No, but I know that he misses you. I miss him too. Hey! Come see you. Um, we'd better get going. Yeah, Katie's waiting for us, so bye. So, the date begins. All right, out with it. Why do you look like somebody just ran off with your trust fund? So, um,. What did you wear on your last official date? Uh, suit and tie? Surgical mask? Don't change the subject. I mean, trust me, you do not want to know what's on my mind. Try me. All right. I'm thinking about Noah. Any particular reason? I have found out that he's leaving town next month. And this makes you want to... Feel free to complete the sentence. Hey, didn't expect to see you here. I can definitely say the same for you. How's that patient of yours? Excuse me, I'm late. Hey! hey. Oh, well, thank you so much for giving me a second chance. Thank you, too, for not minding your own business, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you could also thank us for this right here. Well, I can and I do. <laughs> to friends, friendship, and more than friendship. Not bad for a guy who's almost down for the count with acid <laughs> reflux. <laughs> you right? You okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, excuse me, just one. I just gotta. Uh, um, actually, I gotta talk to you about that patient. It's serious. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, well, this was smart. Coming out here for a night on the town. Yeah, well. I went to get the prescription, but they won't release it to me. You gotta go pick it up. Hospital rules and regulations. I love that. Yeah, well, I thought I was gonna be okay till tomorrow to take the antibiotics, but what was wrong? Okay, you need to pick it up now. So what? I'm supposed to just drop everything and be your errand boy so that you can get your precious wonder drug? Yes. Come on, tip well. Right? Fine. Okay, I'll go. Just tell Luke that. I don't know. Tell him something. Make up an excuse. Yeah, okay, good at that. Chris, drink some water. 